welcome to Ali Care and this is Thea and today as you can see the title now have you ever tell yourself that sit down video is too boring for you to listen to I'm telling you you will want to watch this video sometimes we know the stuff sometimes we want to know if anybody know it like us or sometimes we just don't know and we need to hear it from someone so why don't you listen and hear me out just listen okay so what would happen is that we all hear of all these magical herbs if you watch my channel i'll give you views reviews i'll give you medicinal properties about certain herbs and so forth but you ever wonder there are so many people that sick have all these diseases but yet we say all these herbs can cure them have you ever wondered why are so many people sick if these herbs are so good why are we so sick now let me first talk to you about the stuff that we eat as human living on earth here mother nature was made to protect us mother nature was made for us as human but as i said in many videos before is that scientists or creative mind that we have drive us to do things because we want the easy way out for instance we say we get a pound of yam if you know yam um cabbage we want to refrigerate it we want to process it we want to ship it all over the world so we use all kind of scientific method to keep these um product in our fridge in our um traveling just preserve it which is not good for our body we need to eat these things freshly and so we would have not have all this mucus and toxin in our body now let's say we get past that because the way how things is so easy now it's even hard to even stop eating meat for some you don't it's even hard for you to get these vegetables and cut them up and for them to have this nice delicious taste so you're still going feed and little meat and you even say to yourself oh we don't need all these greens and all these food it's a myth if you're going dead you're just going dead anyhow i'm sure you all said that to yourself until some disease hit you or the threat of a disease hits somebody that you love or even your 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 close friends and you know you're watching people leaving you and then you see all these videos coming up oh this can cure that and you start to feed yourself on them and you say okay i'm not going to get sick because i'm eating healthy i'm eating real good all this stuff that I, that is out there i'm doing the right thing i'm eating healthy i'm not going to get sick but do you really believe that I don't believe that you know what I believe Mother, Mother Nature choose us now yes if you go vegan if you eat healthy if you take all the vitamins it's still good for your body because remember you need stuff to fight against the toxin and all those preservatives that you have already put in your body when you were born you didn't just come on earth and live and let the natural bacteria take you away maybe you would have died because there's so much pollution in the air so what happened you get vaccination because all of those vaccination and vaccine that we get as child those are bacteria they implanted us so we are Already have the mucus in you even if we eat how we want to eat you know it's just that when we eat these healthy stuff we end up live longer and we take longer to seek and we more fight these illnesses our immune system is much stronger but what I want to really get on is when you're threatened with a deadly disease like cancer um, some people have prostate cancer womb cancer and uh, even AIDS you know, we have all these herbs that can cure us and it can, can make us better, can make us live longer. Um, you don't have to do chemo, you don't have to do all these surgeries, you don't have to get a kidney transplant if you take all these things. You won't have gallstone. But guess what? The way how you deal with modern nature, it have a lot of impact on how you are healed. Modern nature work with a pure heart. The pureness of you that's what I believe the nature is light and if you're dark inside if you're if you're sad inside if you're empty inside you all need healing first you need to heal yourself I believe that most people who are suffering from many diseases don't look on the the, the the herbs and the medicine and all this injection to heal you you have to heal it in your mind and soul and let mother, mother nature accept you for for instance, if you don't believe me that Mother Nature choose who the herbs are supposed to live for, 
just if you don't have a garden or if you know somewhere that have a forest walk into the field and look on those trees or look on documentary do you know that they they have a tree named shamey maka you know you did you know that you touch some leaves it shut up you, you just close up it shrink it goes sleep and you have some leaf when you go some flowers when you walk there it bloom right in front of you and you have some people that go there and it don't bloom it just shrink mother nature chooses us also as a female also your body has to be clean you have to be spiritually clean for it to work with you that's what i believe i believe that if a woman is on her menstrual cycle she should not pick herbs she should wait until it finish until her body cleans then she pick the herbs i also believe that if you have um i i wouldn't do such a strong word as um bad ways because everybody have their own ways and nobody's perfect i'm not saying that you have to be perfect for mother nature to choose you because i don't know what you need to do to for mother nature to choose you but i know that it is a stepping stone for mother nature to choose you because i once listened to a lady who have stage four cancer i will not call her name i think she's a doctor maybe many of you hear of her and she even herself realized it and now she's healed she's living over 20 years now i don't know if anybody know of that video and i'm saying to you right now if you're sick and if you're stressed and if you're done and you're drinking all these herbs you have to cleanse meaning that if you have bad mind if you have dirty ways against people if you're doing evil things if you're worshiping worshiping any other else person but god if you're treating people bad if you're looking down on people thinking that you're better anything that is evil and ungodly about you, you need to put that aside before you think all these herbs can choose you because it's just natural lightness and dark this cannot mix you have to cleanse yourself to cleanse yourself of all toxin meaning hatred you have to start looking to what you're drinking you don't believe in god but yet you're drinking herbs you don't believe in him how are you gonna drink it is he met them i'm not saying that he's gonna crucify or he won't heal you because i don't know god is such a great god he will heal the people who don't believe in him too so i cannot tell you how god will work but while you're there wondering why the herbs not working and you're worrying about dying and you're worrying about if you're going to live you need to start cleaning up your up yourself because think that is going to kill you whether it's some deadly disease maybe that's not what kills you you need to start looking to God for help. Jesus will help you. Mother Nature will help you. But you need to ask Mother Nature to help you. It has to choose you and it has to choose the life that lives inside you. You have to have a pure self. Maybe you don't have it now, you know, but you can start. You can give it a start. You can start to cleanse up. I believe that we have to cleanse ourselves of all bad all things that is bad that is not of god that is not of mother nature leave it alone and let mother nature take full control of your whole system because to get your system in that um detox level and and getting your system all clean again you have to let go of everything if you have siblings friends uh, people you need to forgive no matter how hard the crime is go ahead and do it i know you might say why don't i put something like this on my motivational channel but i have to put it here because i've given you so much about mother nature how if you want to get pregnant if you want to do this you know you can't want a children and don't love somebody else children and if you understand what I'm saying, you can't be mashing up somebody else's home and want one for yourself. You can't be cheating and, and blaspheming and want a home for yourself. How is the how are you going to bear fruit in this world? Sometimes the blockage in our life is we are the blockage. We are blocking what we're supposed to get. You want to be healthy, but yet you're not willing to take away all the negative toxin that is in your body. How mother nature going to work? Mother nature is God, it's God gift, and for God to live inside of us, we has to be we have to be clean. So for all these things that we are doing to work on you, you have to work on you have to ask God to work on yourself because you can't do it alone. So you have to be a believer for these things to really work on you. I surely solely believe that. And you have some people get a chance, you know, even they don't believe. You have some people who are fighting cancer and when they look they see come back because guess what god showed them that it will work but they didn't 
to totally thank him and clean up their ways so it's going to come back because those are negative stress and negative energy you're feeding your body is so it cannot live inside of you so it's going to come back and there are some people that just don't work for it. doesn't mean that that person was bad and wicked and that person need to die no it maybe just mean it's just that person time but it's never hard to try and it's never too late to try just try to clean up your act. At least you're not doing it in vain because your soul will be going somewhere that is rested and your spirit won't be unrested. So it's not late for you to try. So while you're counting on Mother Nature and herbs and all these things that I'm putting up on this channel, try and also clean up your ways and the way how you do things. One act of kindness each day will give you a greater change. As I said before, we ourselves, when we are at our lowest stage and our vulnerability, Satan uses us as weapon. The dark nature uses us as weapon. And as I said, herbs also. Let me tell you certain things about herbs. If herbs wasn't something that is good for us, then it wouldn't work. It wouldn't work certain time because... You notice you can't pick herbs at a certain time. If you go and look on the trees, they sleep. Did you know that? Have you ever been to the forest early in the morning before they wake up? Herbs sleep, herb wake. You, the tree has life. There are certain times when trees blossom and you're not supposed to pick it. When it's bearing food, you're not supposed to pick it. And most health places don't matter that. They just want to sell because you're there, you're there craving for the herbs craving to get better not knowing that who is selling these herbal place these things do they pick it the right time so sometimes you think that it's working for you when they already kill this substance the nature inside the the, 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 the whatever they use to, to to get these herbs up sometimes the way how they dry them how they preserve them to have them on shelf i think that the natural way by getting the fresh fruit the fresh vegetable the fresh herb the fresh bush if is that's how you call it from the field and use it as how it intended to use is the best way not saying that these herbal stores um not working for you but you have to also be careful what you're taking in is it the right thing at the right time is it pick the right time was it respected while picking you know you have to take all of those things in consideration and that's my views to tell you here um about mother nature you have to close off i once had a dream about a, a herb that i needed to give someone the person was very sick and i went to my bed and i dream and yes i do dream herbs it's silly but I guess people will say it's in your subconscious mind because you're so fascinating about mother nature but i don't know i do dream herbs so this lady was sick and she 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 came to me and saying that she was sick she didn't come to me asking me for herbs she was just saying that she was sick and i was there praying in my heart for her i feel it for her and then i go to my i go to my bed and i just Pray about you before I go to my bed. And all night through, I keep on seeing this vine come up to me. I didn't know the, what the name of it was. And I go to somebody and explain it to them. And they said, show me some different types of bush. And said, which one did you dream? And I pint on it. And he said, pick it and go and give the lady. And the lady was saying, do you come back at one day and said to me, do you know how I can get some more of the herb that you gave me? Because it did work. And I was like in myself, what is this? Am I getting mad? And then there I, you know, that subconsciousness thinking that, okay, then, um, Mother Nature chose her. So there are a lot of people out there who are herbalists and I really do believe that they get a gift and Mother Nature chooses them. So I don't think you should, you know, you should just close your eyes on Mother Nature. It is what was made for us to have and to cherish. So guys, just clean up your act and not just think about the herbs alone to make you free of diseases. But just the evil and the wicked ways and the wicked act of human being can stop Mother Nature from helping you with your health. You can take all these herbs and you still get sick. Anyway, if you believe me or if you have some point and if you have something to say, please comment below and let me know what you're thinking. Um, let me know. I just really want to know people's view out there after watching this video. Um, I like here. Please subscribe for more videos.